The Smokehouse Creek Fire is now the largest in Texas history and has burned more than 1 million acres since Monday. It looked like Armageddon. It looked like the end of the world. In Fritch, Ryan Hightower says she and her family almost didn't make it out of their house in time. We no longer got off of our street that the entire street was engulfed. So in a matter of seconds. Hightower returned to this. Her home is among dozens that burned to the ground just in Fritch. And the danger is not over yet as firefighters continue to battle the flames helped temporarily by snow and freezing temperatures. My three year old, uh, this will be her bedroom. Tyler McCain and his family are still trying to figure out what's next after their trailer home burned down. I want your house. You want your house? <laughs> that was his three year old daughter's teary reaction to the sad news. And that pain is shared by so many here now facing a tremendous task ahead. It's heartbreaking, not just for me and my family, but all the other families <laughs> that have lost. We're a tight community, and I know we're going to pull through this. It's just going to take time. More help from state and federal fire teams is expected here in the area today. That's in part so that the local crews that have come here from around the state to help out can get back to their local communities ahead of the fire friendly weather conditions expected in the next couple of days. Also today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is expected to be here in the Panhandle for a press conference. Jason Allen, CBS News in Fritch, Texas.